this is Dr. Nirdeep Kumar, Assistant Professor Ariyari, Hyderabad. So, in the previous video, we had seen about the composite materials. So, in this video, we will see application of composite materials in military aircraft. Okay, so our lecture topic will be application of composite material in military aircraft. So, which type of material we can use in the military aircraft, how to combine. So, these things we will see in this video. So, just first, let's start with the composite material and then we can see that one. So composite material also called as composite composition material. So let's see a composite material in another way you can see the composition material means composition means a mixture of two or more things or sort into composite material means instead of composition material just reading sort we are saying that it's a composite material which is produced from two or more constituent material means mean that minimum two or more than two constituent material is required to add to to form a composite material okay so minimum two is required more than any number will be there depending upon the requirement these constituent materials have notably this similar chemical or physical property so just here this is important it's a notably means that is important one what dissimilar chemical means they should not have the same chemical or physical property if suppose same physical property two things you are mixing means you cannot say that is as the composite so they must have different physical and chemical composite so that properties whatever is there if suppose three is there in that two should not have the same all the three must have different chemical as well as physical property and are merged to create a material with properties unlike the individual elements so now after merging what happened the property should have the property totally different from both or you can say all the individual elements means it's not it should not like that okay first material is there so after combining the second material still they have the property of first material no whatever the property of first material second material or third material they must have different from all the three means a totally new property should be there then only we can say that is the composite material <coughs> Within the finished structure, the individual elements remain separate and distinct. And here also the thing is that should be separate and distinct. So we can see or we can find where the other material is. They are not like that. They should get composed. That is becomes alloy. Just like a alloy wheel is there. Isn't that what happened? Or a steel. In iron, what happened? We are adding magnesium, zinc in some proportion. That also proportion is very less. Right? 0.001 or 0.002 percent of the total amount. So that got mixed throughout the material and we cannot identify where is the zinc, where is the magnesium or other material, right? So that type should not be there. If that is there, then we can say that is the alloy, not the composite. So in composite, whatever the number of materials we are adding, that should be distinct and can be found separately. Means that is okay, this material is there, this material is here. In recent years, the rising trends of using composite material in aircraft construction is observed. So nowadays what happened? By using composite material because of their enhanced property in aircraft construction, composite materials are used. Now, why that is used? So the reason behind is what? The reason is reduced weight of a structures while maintaining high strength property means they have the lesser weight and higher strength. Means you can say in another word, strength to weight ratio is higher in for composite material compared to the normal material what we are or what conventionally we are using earlier presently from composites there are pro there are produced load bearing structure of glider motor glider ultralight category airplane and unmanned air vehicles so these are where right now the applications are there that already we are using but now what happened we can further enhance the property and then we can use it as our the military aircraft or any passenger aircraft there also we can use. <clears throat> Moreover, composite materials allowed to build elements of passenger airplanes such as vertical and horizontal stabilizer, wing structure and its plating, fuselage and other parts. So by composite material, we can use, as I told you, passenger aircraft also we can use. In passenger aircraft, what we can form like vertical and horizontal stabilizer, wing structure and it's the plating that a structure and over the plating is there then we can form with that means we can use the fuse in composite material fuselage also and the other parts also where we can use that one so means composite material you can say one of the most important now and is that part will be there for manufacturing even a passenger aircraft also 
Now, so this was this one. Now, solution is the thing how and why we are using that one, right? So that's why I just given title here as the solution. So just see here. In gyro planes, composites are used to produce blades. This is that individually where we are seeing. So in gyro planes, composites are used to produce what? Blades, rotor, and their fuseless. So in gyro planes, blades, rotor, fuseless, and that we are using the composite materials. Furthermore, they are involved in constructing of power units in aircraft. So power unit, just the power unit is what engine. In that also, such as engine blades, tail, air screw, and fans. So in Indian. So these things, they are also composites are like composite blades in the engine itself that is used. And you can say the turbine blades. So they are composites are used. Now, fiber reinforced plastic composite with glass, carbon and aramid fiber. Okay. So I, this is what the fiber reinforced plastic composite with glass, carbon and aramid fiber. Next, hybrid composite in that what happened? Hybrid means what? Two dissimilar type of composite. Now composite composite itself just by combining forming the hybrid composite. So fiber metal laminates as well as laminates with metal and ceramic matrix. So in metal what happens just one that will be the fiber and in another case that of ceramic matrix right. So now two different types of this one that are composites are there just combine those two now you will have what the hybrid composite. So that we have to think first that even after combining two different type of composites, whether the property got improved or not. If property got improved, this we can use. Okay. So in the context of aircraft construction, it is sorry that ceramic matrix are most commonly used in aircraft construction. So composite, that hybrid composite, mostly now we are using. In the context of aircraft construction, it is expected a lot from them, not only from mechanical point, but also thermal one determined by high speed movement and often ballistic in relation to military aircraft. So composite is not like that, okay, that will be structurally or mechanically, that should be there. But that also depends on what the thermal stability means. So you can say thermal stability or depends on the temperature, then the speed, how much speed is there, like at higher speed that a composite can sustain or not. So these things also need to cross check. Okay. Then only we can use that one. It's not like that. Okay. It will be a smaller, but means after adding the composite or after manufacturing by the composite, their weight to resistance ratio will increase. But what about the other properties? Because it's not like that you have not, not that you are not keeping at the ground surface. Once that will come in the operation, their temperature will change like at higher altitude, temperature will be minor, very lesser. Then what happens? So how that get affected by the temperature also then means changing temperature. So that temperature stability also should be there. Then at a higher speed, what happens if suppose at higher speed, they, whatever the, their property is there, that got changed or any reduction will be there, then we cannot use that one. So depending upon the application and with these things also to keep in mind, like thermal stability, high end, high speed movement and often ballistic in relation to uh, so in ballistic missile also there we can just say that we can use it or not. The subject of research in the publication are composite material used in aviation. Right. So in subject of research in the publication are composite materials used in aviation. So in that is still they are just finding that in what are the parts where we can use the composite materials to minimize the weight and maximize the strength. The purpose of the survey is to identify major problems connected with the material which are applied in aviation structure. So the thing is what we are using, that means what the conventional one is there or that is in use, right. From that how the composite will be different. So first we have to come different means what it should not be the completely different. That property should not enhance. Like suppose some strength is there. So that property strength should get increased. Right. So first we have to check with what, whatever the existing is there, there, this property we are using there, means because of this property, suppose they have higher strength. So we can use in the fuse lag, but if a stiffness will be more, then we cannot use in fuse lag because in that case, what we have to do that bending. So for fuse lag skin, that stiffness should be more. But what about the blades? If in case of that uh, engine blades, that is stiffness is not that much required. If that is hard, then also. So depending upon the application, first we have to check which composite we can use and that composite is there then where we can use and those property whatever the required is there or that is earlier 
how much that got improved by using this one. So now come to the fiber reinforced plastic material. So another type is the fiber reinforced plastic material. That is what mixture of glass and carbon fiber reinforced plastic in military aviation. So now in military aviation, what glass and carbon fiber reinforced all that is used. So just see. Composite materials used in military aviation are given high requirements, not only mechanical but thermal, chemical, and often even ballistic as well. So now just in military, what happened? Like suppose in that any armor is there. That what happened? They will react, start reacting, or they are keeping it not like that daily they are using. So if suppose they have the chemical reaction, or they can chemically react, then what happened? While keeping itself after a certain time, they will react with other things or they will get that means their property will change. So that should also be non-reactive. Okay, because you can see even if suppose war is there, then only they are using that one. Otherwise, long like six months, one year, like that only every six months, one year, three months, whatever then they are just using. So whatever the remaining times, they are not in use. So they should not react chemically. With the change in temperature, that also should not get affected. Means thermally it should be stable. In case of ballistic as well. So they means all over the stability in all the aspects that should be stable, not only in the mechanical, like the utility, that these things. Okay. So fiber reinforced plastic composite fulfill these requirements perfectly. So what is required here, right? What mechanical, thermal, chemical, and for ballistic also, who is fulfilling that one? That fiber reinforced plastic. So plastic, which is reinforced by the fiber. Plastic already having less of it, and in that it's reinforced that is uh, by the fiber. So now that having the lesser weight, but more strength. They are lightweight and very durable mechanically. So they are lightweight and very durable mechanically. So already to plastic itself is very having very less weight or lightweight. In that just we are adding fiber. So still they are lightweight only. Initially in the construction of aircraft, they were used as a replacement for metal parts. So wherever the metal parts is they are, right? Initially they were using just to replace those metal parts. Today clearly visible in an increasing trend in their application. So now what happened? Day by day their application got increased. Earlier what was there? Just wherever the metal parts is there just to replace that one. Now it happens that there are over 90 percent. Let's see here the difference is there where this I got that, that over 90 percent airframe structure and their participation in design of aircraft allowed to reduce its weight up to 25 percent. Amazing what? So in case of what? 90% of the airframe structure, whatever the airframe structure is required, just like skin, these things, in that 90% now they are using what? Composite. And with that, what happened? Up to 20% their weight reduction is there. Means whatever the parts is there, they just replace all the metal parts to the fiber composite. Okay, so almost in 90%, 10% only the existing one is there, and because of that, Went up to 25% weight got reduced. Means if suppose earlier weight was 100 kg, now that weight becomes 75 kg only. So now weight 25% weight reduced means what? With that we can increase the payload by 25%. Right. So just by changing the metal to the composite, now our payload capacity will increase by up to 20%. As a result, aircraft is able to carry more weapons and increase in its range, what makes it more effective in combat missions. So now, just I told you that payload will increase. What is payload here for military aircraft? Weapons. And the next is, what? To range, means the distance, how much distance it can cover. It's not like that once you refuel that one, and it will go like up to 200 kg, and again it will come back and again refuel it. That will take time. So suppose instead of 200 km, now after reducing the weight, you can carry the fuel for up to 250 km. So now that 50 km range what? Increased. Right, just by reducing the weight because total weight one capacity is there up to that much weight only it can carry. More than that, we cannot keep anything. So there weapon weapons also is required. Then fuel also, because even if we will keep weapons only and we will not keep fuel, then we cannot go. And if we will keep more fuel, then we cannot take the more weapons. So just to balance this one, if the composite is there, that fiber composite, then that because of the lesser weight, they can carry the more weapons and even their range also will increase in the combat. Now, for this again the solution. 
carbon and glass fiber reinforce that means how that is there right so carbon and glass fiber reinforce okay that carbon is what carbon fiber reinforce crf is carbon fiber so just here and is there so carbon fiber reinforced plastic and second one is glass fiber reinforced plastic so cr cfrp is carbon fiber reinforced plastic i mean that means reinforced plastic reinforced by the carbon fiber second one is what plastic reinforced by the glass fiber so the glass fiber reinforced plastic are used commonly in modern military aviation so nowadays what happen cfrp and gfrp that what carbon fiber reinforced plastic and glass fiber reinforced plastic nowadays they are using in military aviation in the most modern fighter aircraft in the world the look heat marty f35 lightning 2 the most modern fighter aircraft with the composites is and having the lightest is what the manufacturer is look heat marty their fighter aircraft the name is f35 lightning 2 this is the lightest one now cfrp that is carbon force re, carbon fiber reinforced plastic laminates were used in many elements of load bearing structures where we are keeping the load or we are putting the load that's load bearing so in that case cfrp that is carbon fiber reinforced plastic is used such as vertical stabilizer tail plane flap and wing skirt so just see used load bearing what happen because load force is coming like uh, after this the vertical stabilizer now suddenly that gust will be there how they will sustain means that should be the strong because with that speed and the gust both they should have simultaneously no bear that one hence that the outer part of this one like vertical stabilizer tail plane flaps makes these things to be too strong okay these items are about 40% of weight of aircraft and are responsible for aerodynamic lift so just see uh, this total weight of the aircraft whatever is there of that 40% is what vertical stabilizer tail plane flaps and wing skin because of that only they are just stable so now if we will reduce the by composite over this one or suppose if we will replace okay composite in vertical stabilizer tail plane flaps and wing skin then what happen automatically that 40% of the weight so if suppose by 50 10% also we are reducing so 40% of 10% the total weight of the aircraft will get reduced and hence what happen right they are stronger also so their aerodynamic lift creation and maintenance of their maintain maintaining in aircraft in the air so what happen after that that will got that aerodynamic lift will also create and maintain in the air right because with the 40% itself this is there and that 40% itself we are are remaining what just a few slices there and then payload so payload we cannot we have our target is what to increase the payload just like in a military aircraft we pumps and fuel so we cannot reduce the payload so only the thing is whatever the component of aircraft is there in that case we can reduce the weight and increase the strength so that we can carry the more weight so here with this 40% so in those 60% we cannot do much change but in this 40% we can change and because of this whatever the weight will decrease and strength will increase according to that we can carry the payload like what weapons and fuels okay next the fuselage also consists of cfr that carbon fiber reinforced plastic laminate so fuselage also having this one another advantages of the application of fiber reinforced plastic in the f35 right f35 aircraft name is there their frp is used is low detectability by radar so because of this carbon fiber only that f35 having the low detectability means what you can see almost it uh, becomes a stealth this radar cannot detect or if radar can detect then once it will reach to very close to the radar then only it can detect right so that you can see that is f35 is a stealth aircraft so by using just composite and that composite also should be there whatever the signal is coming from the uh, that radar this should absorb that one or they should reflect in some other direction it's not like that because what happened how radar is detecting they are sending the signals if any object is coming under that signal they are reflecting back to the station and they are showing okay something is coming and something is there so depending upon their shape how that signal is coming back they are detecting okay either its bird is there aircraft is there or any other thing so now what happens suppose they will absorb the energy means that passed so they cannot detect they cannot that we receive the signal okay something is coming 
and hence they can go and hit that means by being a 35 detectability of radar is also very less by joining them with very small tolerance of about 0.2 mm so up to tolerance is just 0.2 mm is there now cfrp and gfr that carbon fiber carbon fiber reinforced plastic and glass fiber reinforced plastic laminates used in construction of aircraft apart from in many advantages have some disadvantages also it's not like that they have the only advantages because nothing is in this world is perfect so definitely they have some disadvantages also so now what is the disadvantages of it one of them being a major problem is so called brittle crack so iron metal what happens just like iron brittle this is not there they are ductile in nature but carbon fibers are in brittle nature that is brittle crack is possible in that case it spreads rapidly and goes deeper into the structure so instead of that in metal what happen generally or existing one it moves or it's propagate slowly but in case of brittle that carbon that fiber or composite its growth will be rapidly and it can goes deeper into the structure also but in the existing one what that happen that if at the upper surface is there first upper surface will break then it will go for the next level like that so before that we can detect but in this case once it will start it will increase that means reduction or crack will start very fastly okay this process is often often accompanied by delamination or separation of the adjacent reinforced layer so because of this what happen whatever the adjacent layer is aside one layer of any other material is there the other one is there so now what happen once this will get cracked right so this after cracking this what happen this will get to start separating from this one so now they won't remain in the composite form so whatever the reinforcement layer is there that will get separated from the this one so that is here the delamination means now they will not in the form of laminates they will becomes separate one and once they become separate means they lose their property that is in this one means a strength to weight ratio or whatever the property we use that will get vanished means so till that it's okay but once it will crack right it will grows rapidly and that causes the delamination is removal of the laminate they just layer by layer they will start separating and hence they will lose their property also okay so in aircraft construction the phenomenon of brittle crack is very dangerous so see yeah, brittle crack is very dangerous why because once the level itself will start now they are not composite so they lose their that is ability or you can say strength to weight ratio and now it's there means in the sky or wherever if it's in flight the result will get damaged the whole thing during flight flight and activities so here is there of a strong mechanical interaction on aircraft construction this type of defect may cause damage to the structure with very serious consequences so if this will be there in the structure then with very serious consequences that the whole structure or whatever the part is made of that one that will get damage another problem at the stage of designing aircraft is mechanical treatment of composite so another problem is what when when designing is going on means at the time of designing of the because of the mechanical treatment right mechanical treatment is just like detail they are changing shape and all right so glass fiber reinforced plastic and carbon fiber reinforced plastic laminates while drilling grinding and other mechanical treatment are susceptible to local degradation this what happen when we will go for the drilling okay grinding and then drilling grinding and other mechanical treatment that time what happen they will have the local degradation is that that particular where we are drilling that part if that their possibilities are there they will lose their means there itself got separate the layers got separated so means their problem will be there locally where we are doing these operations many difficulties focus on the effect of local delamination of setting while impacting of a cutting tool on the material right so defective with that is miss local delamination in that particular part just now i said that local problem will be there mechanical so that also miss local it's not like that suppose here these laminates are there okay now here itself in between somewhere here they starts just to release the leaving those contact surface or anything so here they will have the lesser strength compared to the all other parts now what happen if any force will applied here from this part that crack will start and once crack will be there 
it grows rapidly and because of that the other parts of the layer also getting separated and they finally they will lose their the property what is achieved because of the forming composites in this case it is necessary to use appropriate tools machine and cleaning equipment so for this because of to prevent this one only the appropriate tools machines and cleaning equipment whatever is there that should be used okay now modern techniques of mechanical machining such as cutting by abrasive water jet so whatever the modern thing water jet machining that is ew gm abrasive water jet machine awgm and laser methods are being increasingly applied so because with this we can cut so these are the modern mechanical machine they are considered as very adequate and effective so these water jet that i was a water jet or laser methods are what very adequate and effective on the uh, on the other hand it is very expensive solution but though that is adequate and effective but what happened that is too costly also riveting is still one of the main joining method of thin wall aircraft structure so still by riveting only those with their their composite also we are joining the thin wall aircraft structure such features as simplicity of implementation possibilities of connecting two different material is a metallic with non metallic one and the fact that it is a well known reliable method makes riveting so popular so because just connecting of two things riveting we are using so that makes popular so why because in with that we can either it's a met two metallic type or metallic with non metallic also we can combine riveted connections aviation composite structure entail problems so in rivet create a problem in case of the aviation one of them is initiation and propagation of mechanical damage so where rivet is there first we have to do hole and in that we have to add the rivet so from that place there what happen then mechanical damages can start for example the connection of rivet nuts in the structure of aircraft was provided which was built from gfrp composite so they can damage from there where the rivet is there okay so now bearing structure was joined by rivet nuts connect Sun and was made in accordance with a model single lap. Connection was subjected to a tensile test. So after connecting, what happened? They gone for the tensile test. Means after that, much tension they can sustain or not. In the rivets connection, visible matrix crack, delamination, and fiber breaks are defined. So in this riveted connection, what are the possibilities? Are they all that visible? Is what that matrix crack? So their layer by layer, their their crack is they are. or delamination means laminated that layer lamine get separated or that fiber of that can break so these things is possible in case of rivet connection the propagation crack are in accordance with the direction of the reinforcement in relation to the load force so the propagation of crack in accordance with the direction of reinforcement means in which direction that reinforcement is there and how the load is acting in which direction the load is acting based on that only the crack will propagate the crack propagates from the connector into the structure right so how crack propagates from connector to the structure was first because already we had seen that it is starting from the connector and then it starts moving towards the structure or you can say the propagating to the structure around the rivets in the back view there appear local delamination by the pull through so that we can say there local delamination also will be there fiber breakings are visible around and between rivet holes so fiber breaking we can see in between rivet and holes they leads to the failure path so because of that what happened failure that will be the failure this type of composite damage applies in the aviation construction are very dangerous and can lead to a loss of lift force by the aircraft now what happened once that propagate they become the loose and because of that they will start losing the lift force and once lift force will be there means definitely drag is more and that is not suitable for the application right so here as uh, you can see that i mentioned that here like five is i already cited so where i cited like from here 90% is there right so from where i got these data that you can just go to the mm, reference right in this reference like uh, has a hard arbenetum there you can find that percentage so all i cited in the ppt so where you are seeing and related to that even if you want to see more details then you can just refer these uh, references there you will get the full details of that one i cannot add all these things that's why i just whatever the important things is there that i took it from these references 
So total here six differences are there that already it's a mind in there. So that particular reason or that topic we can just refer from here. Okay. So if if you have any doubt or anything, you can just comment. Okay, on the video I will reply there itself, or you can just contact me. Okay, thank you. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.